Alright, so welcome back everyone and today for this video we're pretty much going to be talking about assisting the Centaurim and this is pretty much task 5 for Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Now let's get to it, shall we? Well, once you guys highlight this box right here, the one that I'm highlighting, it's actually going to tell you guys to complete a in introductory quest and I believe it's called a Unlikely Alliance and I'm just going to show you to... I'm just going to show you the people that you're going to have to talk to in order to get started. And as you guys can see, I've already completed this task once and right now it's at least at 60%. This is going to be the second time that I complete it. Keep in mind that you have to do this like five times and you do need four dragon sigils. So after this video, I'm just going to show you guys where you could farm for the dragon sigils. Now first we're going to go to the Protector's Enclave where pretty much everyone's at, all the other group members are at. <clears throat> and we're going to be talking to this person, this bartender. Her name is pretty much Shade Cutter, she's going to give you the quest and we're pretty much just going to have to go to the Whispering Caverns, I believe. Oh no wait. <clears throat> yeah, I do believe so. Here, hold up. And we're gonna have to talk to some guy that's all shaky. It looks like he's tweaking or some shit out. I don't really know. Here, hopefully I go to the right place because I'm not sure if it's the Underdark or... Or if it's the Whispering Caverns. Yeah, I believe it's the Whispering Cavern, so here, I'm just gonna go here real quick. <coughs> and once again, I'm just gonna put a disclaimer. I should have said this in the beginning or at the start of this video. I'm still sick, so you guys hear me clearing my throat. That's pretty much because I'm still sick, so. And once again, you're always going to find the people that give you these quests for Tyranny of Dragons campaign right where the dragon spawns in. I'm just going to show you quickly where it's at. It's all the way over here. Unfortunately, there's no way we could fast travel in between areas or zones. So, yeah. Just bear with me, guys. The enemies don't really attack you around this area, so just as long as you're riding your mount. So don't be afraid to... I mean, don't be afraid to get close to the enemies, as you guys see me doing right here. Now the dragon that spawns here, his name is Wow. It's pretty much at the top center of the screen. He's actually pretty hard because he has this move that summons dark hands from the ground and they just lift you up, they push you up. And it could take you out in one hit if you're not careful and since I'm such a noob, it's that move from the dragon always seems to be killing me, so... I don't know if you guys will do better. See, you have to talk to this person and then he's gonna give you quests. Now, sometimes he's gonna give you treasure seekers. Make sure you just queue up with the group and the chat, just as usual. This is the first time that he's actually giving me this one. Too bad he didn't give me the, the other regular quests because if he did, I would have loved to show you guys how to beat those quests. And pretty much you, you guys just want to get as many dragon sigils because the task that you're going to be unlocking, task 5, it requires 4. So try to get as many as you guys possibly can. Or try to do quests that give you dra dragon sigils. Sorry about that guys. Slaves to the Caverns to perform the 
free the enslaved miners and do your best to disrupt the cult's search. Alright, so I just went ahead and I invited these guys because they want to fight the dragon since he's already up and the other quests aren't really showing themselves right now. Well, actually I did end up getting one quest. This one's actually quite simple. All you have to do is you have to kill enemies that are guarding the slave miners right here. Oh, these guys are a pain in the ass. Well, for me they are. This guy has a shield up, and then I have to kill this berserker lizard thing. This drake right here that just goes crazy. And that was the one shot ability from Velothrax's. I mean Velothrax. As you guys can see, it just one shot killed me. I don't know why he's going for me right now. Alright, see that's all you guys really have to do. Make sure you also get these guys over here. No one's really protecting them and they're actually pretty well hidden. Here we go, one more. I'm just gonna go ahead and fight this fire golem over here. Hopefully I could beat him before they kill Vale. And it looks like I forgot to summon my companion, so... I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Alright, looks like I can't really do it right now. Alright, so it looks like Vale is still up and they haven't killed him, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it's really like. Like I told you guys before, I'm not really that good at fighting this dragon in particular. Don't know why I picked that up.
Just like the rest of the dragons, he's gonna have familiar attack moves. But the one that you guys seriously want to avoid is the one where he calls up the hands. So make sure you're not sending in the red circle. And also when you're attacking him from the... See, I just got here right there. When you're attacking him from the right or left side, and you see him turn his head around, he's gonna send out a blast just like he did right now, and he's it's pretty much just gonna target you and it's gonna do a lot of damage. So when you see him move his head or tilt it, and he looks back at you, make sure you just simply go behind him, like near his tail. So that's all you pretty much guys gotta do. And there's also another mission in which you gotta find these cult of the dragon tents. They look like this. And you just gotta find the secrets and you gotta examine it. But I'm not really gonna do that right now because I don't have that quest. So yeah. Wow well, guys, that's about it. And once you talk to this guy, once you finish up the quest that he gives you, which is I think a an unlikely alliance, he's gonna give you a report and you're gonna go back to the protector's enclave and you're gonna talk to that orc, the bartender orc, the one that you saw me talking at the beginning of the video. And that's about it. And if you guys do have enough dragon sigils, you should go ahead and go back to the campaigns and you know, do the same thing just restart it all over again now i'm gonna make another video talking about adventuring gear and dragon horde enchantments and how it's really not worth it don't waste your dragon sigils on this and i'll get to that in the next video and i'm also gonna make another separate video telling you guys where you could easily farm for the dragon sigils i know you could also go to the well of the dragons or something like that but to be honest, that place really intimidates the crap out of me because the enemies are level 73. I could probably take on like 3 or 4 enemies, but I'll most likely die. My gear score isn't really that good to be honest. I don't really know how people advance or get higher gear score in this game. But I'm trying to work on it just by simply doing this campaign or I probably have to look for another campaign. But either way guys, that that's about it. That's it for task four. Hopefully it helped you guys all out. And I'm out.